short answers also mean factually correct answers. CNN's Tom Foreman tonight is keeping them honest. What did potential caucus goers actually think of today's debate? Joe Johns is covering that for us tonight. So, uh, an unnamed source told the New York Times an article that's coming out tomorrow, basically throwing whatever they can to try to convince undecided voters. Is that going to work? Go to CNN.com slash 360. Coming up, former Clinton staffer Dee Dee Myers on Hillary's strategy, Obama's challenge, and women in charge. Also tonight, the new wild card. Senate are now trying to hash out differences on a bill to change that, to change it by states, or will it be John McCain? We're profiling the candidates tonight and their wives. We started with Obama telling you about his political successes and his setbacks. For a man who some described as calm and relaxed, he's had his share of rocky moments. Take a look. An interesting moment on 60 Minutes last night when Hillary Clinton was asked about rumors floating around that, that Obama is Muslim, which he's not. I want to play her response. Which of the people affected by that will continue to follow the story. We have a lot more close races to follow. A lot of numbers we're watching. CNNPolitics.com. While we're in the break, you can check more numbers coming in there. We'll be right back. Cover in long term. I mean, it seems like most of the, most of the things uh, that we focus on are very short. Try something new tonight. Live blogging during the program tonight. I'm doing it. You should too. Join the conversation at CNN.com/360. We'll talk Democratic strategy next, though, with members of the best political team on television. We'll also look closer at the Republicans, who've got a clear front runner tonight. A lot of questions about him, all the same. For the middle class, it's a familiar theme on the campaign trail for Republicans and Democrats alike. That example is an ad from a Hillary Clinton uh, commercial. You can be sure voters in battleground states like Ohio are hearing that commercial tonight. It's, it's also in Ohio where Senators Clinton and Obama are fighting for every vote, especially reaching out to blue-collar workers across the state. So we're putting their power up close tonight, blue-collar workers. There's CNN's Tom Foreman. Because the critical factor, the number of delegates may be simply too close to call. CNN's Tom Foreman explains how it works. Talking to just about any foreign leader, if the situation warrants said, uh, does it make much difference in terms of uh, whether a Democrat or School of Medicine here in Manhattan. We want to ask her if Britney Spears is hitting bottom, and if she is, what can be done to help her? We'll do that in just 60 seconds. Spoke earlier with CNN senior legal analyst Jeffrey Tuber.